I like better. Oh, that's going. That's going. This is going. And now we're, it's all happening. This is apparently the world's greatest action sports podcast. Why are you pulling that? I don't know. I just kind of like the, the, the slack. Anyway, I'm Chris Cote. Who are you? Hi, I'm Todd Richards. Todd Richards. We're here. Great name, Todd. That was a good name. Thanks. Is it strong? It's a strong name. You know, my mom wanted to name me Terry. Terry Richards? I'm not even, I wish. I'm not even shitting you. T-E-R-I. -E my name was really close to being Terry. Did your parents ever tell you like what your maybe name was? No. My parents, I don't think they put a lot of effort into naming myself and my brother. I think it was kind of like the first thing that popped in their mind. I think my brother was named after the singer of the Moody Blues, Justin Hayward. Really? I was named after St. Christopher. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking, but... Terry. Happy Mother's Day to you, by the way. Thanks. Yeah. Did you get in trouble? Uh, no. no. No, I just I just tried my best. I saw, I saw <laughs> the, best. the ultimate meme yesterday online. It was the... I think it was Kook of the Day put it up. It was like something like surfing on Mother's Day. Yeah, but I like that. Bold move or something like that. There are certain holidays, I think, that are set up that could be considered traps. Oh, for Mother's sure. Mother's Day, Valentine's Day... St. Patrick's Day will trap you into getting drunk if that you know. Um, if you live in Chicago, Cinco de Mayo could trap you into drinking a bunch of tequila um, and getting wild. I think it's pretty. I mean, I I've ruined Mother's Day before. You have? Oh yeah. Yeah, I have too. Yeah. But we're past that. Shout out to the ripping mothers out there: mm -hmm. Bethany Hamilton, Alana Blanchard. Uh, there's so many. Uh, there's a lot of ripping moms out there. Those are just two off the top of my head. And that's it. That's, that's all I got. <laughs> so let's move on to stuff that, you know, <clears throat> truly captivates the imagination. Earth shattering, life changing action sports news. Yes. Yes. Because you come to us for an escape from things like things that pandemics, make sense. Mother's Days. Is the pandemic still happening? The pandemic is, is still chugging along yeah you know it's just it's on its last legs it's not as but much marketing dollars no being spent on pandemic no the, the i think the advertising budget for pandemic and for covid mm. has subsided a little bit you know if they don't spend it you're not going to get it next year next year so you gotta you know this is the la the hard charge we're truly looking for the next crisis. We want to be right in there on the ground level. The next big Ooh. global crisis, Ooh. we want to know about it first. Ooh, Go got, ahead. What do you got? got? Yeah. Um, so the Russian hacking group that has decided to hack the energy, the oil pipeline that feeds the East Coast. Okay. Did you hear about this? No. Is this the next big thing? It's well, this is hot right now. It's like literally happening now that the supply of fuel going to the that supplies the East Coast yeah. from the Gulf states that w that way. Yeah, that's no. We <laughs> over we, here. We barely have to worry about this. No, I don't like to go east of that highway. Right. So there. at any rate, there's already people fucking panicking back east. Yeah. Like stockpiling gasoline. That I, you know, I saw that. Which is going to raise gasoline prices. I just, I, I think maybe for a little while, there should just be no news. Don't tell us anything mm -hmm. about anything. Give us like a week to just well, regroup. You know you can, it's possible for you to do that. Oh, just don't open Twitter. Don't turn on the TV. Yeah, just don't, don't engage. Open a newspaper. Don't engage. The only news that you should know about is what happened in surfing, skateboarding, and snowboarding. See? And, and then, in nerd business. And then you'll be safe. Yeah. So let's get to it. We're loosely news anyways. Yeah. We, basically, we make up most of the things we talk about. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But, you know, you can take it as fact as if you want. If you trust us. Uh, the Monday Mass is presented by Bubs Naturals. You know, I've been on a big Bubs kick the last six months. i got to tell you, my bones, my skin, my hair, all of these things mm -hmm. have never been stronger. I feel like I am regenerating, like I am the Terminator, but the good Terminator. I'm, I'm the Terminator when he, maybe Terminator 2? Which one did he come back to save John Connor? Terminator 2 is when he came back. Okay, I'm Terminator 2, the good Terminator. Your foster, I'm regenerating. Your foster parents are dead. Yes, thanks to Bubs, Bubs Naturals, at Bubs Naturals, use the code MASS20. Uh, beneath Apparel, BN3 TH Apparel. Yep. We just rave about these underpants because they're the best in the world. They really are. And we've got a code there too, Mass20. Hanson Surfboards, at Hanson Surfboards. K2 Snowboarding. <clears throat> That's K2 Snowboard right behind me. Yep. And K2 will be presenting snowboarding news. K2 
Chemistry Surfboards at Chemistry Surfboards. Todd's board of choice. Todd, did you surf on Mother's Day? <laughs> Let's get no. back to that. I, I don't. It only took me seven or eight times, but I don't fall in that trap anymore, Chris. Yeah. Um, I got a little session on Mother's Day. Uh, at Chemistry Surfboards, you can check them out on Instagram. And if you do that, you're probably going to order a board because their boards look amazing. They're good boards these days. You online, youonline.com. Don't forget that the Sunset Sessions are happening. This concert series is epic. Coming up next, Donovan Frankenreiter. And Donovan's going to come on to the show to you're promote sh- the show. You're shitting me. He's going to come on our show to promote today? their show. Um, not today. <laughs> Eventually. All right, wait. And all new, you guys hit. Um, new Greens, at New Greens. At New Greens. And. New Greens is a sponsor that supports the mass, and they can be found at newgreens.com or the parent company to New Greens, pureprescriptions.com. Pure Prescriptions is a one of kind. Stop, shop, stop, stop your, stop your shopping. They gave Todd the information to say, and he still failed. Devin gave me this. Devin, did is, you get in trouble for for not no presenting our sponsors? This is, just, the right this way? is coming from my heart. It's just, coming from the top. I just wrote some things down. Todd's not reading off his prompt. Um, well, let me just. Okay, go ahead. I'll give you this. Just give us something from your heart. So the whole thing is, is like, look, why do I endorse New Greens? Why do we, why do we have this thing? Why do we, I have a, we have some right here. Okay. Just... My buddy Devin Ryerson started New Greens. Devin was on the Sims team with me back in the day. Sims like, the video game? Sims the, no, not oh, the, the board. Sims. Sims the, the snowboard. Okay. So we're, he's like OG Tahoe, you know, dude. Yep. He had cancer, freaking beat cancer. Went, you know, studied to be a doctor, decided that he was going to, you know, he started Pure Prescriptions, and then he started New Greens as an offshoot of Pure Prescriptions. Okay. And he just wants to make you freaking healthy. Thank you. New he Greens. wants to help people get healthy. And so, um, so yeah, they've got good shit. They've got, obviously, they have the New Greens. Did he write that down for you to say? No, they've this, got I'm good not. Shit. This is called, I'm, riff, I'm riffing He's now. riffing. They've got everything. Do so we have the, code? the Do we pure have prescription, code? yes, it's mass yeah, oh, twenty. Don't, don't act like I'm New Green. You they got New Greens question. minted and Superberry. That's their superfood. They've got pure prescriptions. Has the um, the gummies. I gave you gummies. Yep. The elderberry and the sea. Yes. Freaking amazing. It's Good like gummies. eating Haribo's for breakfast. Yes. Everyone loves a Haribo for breakfast. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, they are not backed by giant VC groups. They okay. are. Here in Encinitas, and, Encinitas. and it's a family run business. So, At New Greens. suck on that, health freaks. Nanocraft CBD at Nanocraft CBD. Uh, Todd, I presented to you know, on the show I last know. week with some Nanocraft nighttime. How have you been sleeping lately? I always sleep better with the Nanocraft. Ah, that's so great to hear. I don't even know, it could be totally placebo. It's not, okay. it's Nanocraft, right. it's science. Uh, Nanocraft also has some gummies for you that are CBD gummies. So, mm. Uh, we're talking soreness, after action sports type of situations, anxiety, sleep. Mm. We got gummies as well. Adventure IO, Adventure IO, get the app. Come on, summertime's right here around the corner. Um, so those are our sponsors, and of course we always list those on our Instagram. And please follow them, support them, tell them Monday Mass sent you, look, so we could keep doing this show. You need to buy shit from them, please, and then mention like, us, please, because for the love of God. We're going to go out of business. We're going under as we speak. So Unless you guys support those sponsors, you can send us compliments. Look. You can buy hats. We're not sent. We're not. But those compliments don't pay the bills. Joe Rogan wants you to buy his his bodybuilding shit shakes. Yeah. He wants you to shit your pants. We're not asking you to shit your pants for us. We're not even challenging, challenging you to listen. We're basically just telling you to go and endorse the people that we endorse we already we actually already have your download if you made it this far on the video or on the audio yeah, we, we already have, have down, you don't need to listen we to the already the have show. your IP turn it address. Off. honestly yeah. turn it off all we needed was your like turn it off and go buy something for one of the sponsors i mean you don't need to hear this shit right like and subscribe <laughs> or unsubscribe and Wait, then no. and then subscribe again yeah, yeah if you uns- unsub- unsubscribe to someone else and then subscribe but I got a giveaway announcement. Some good news. All right. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the People of Encinitas Part 2 poster made by John Antosky, who also made our logo right there on this hat. That's for sale. Not this one. You don't want that one. Will, we have many look, more like that. I'll sell you this fucking hat. He'll sell you that little, little priced up because it's been worn. Um, okay, so 
my good friend Laura at the barbershop up the street called Bravehold. She bought an extra poster just to do something fun, support John, to support people of Encinitas. She bought an extra poster. It's signed. It's numbered. She did some raffle tickets at the barbershop. And we do have a winner. Let me get a drum roll. The winner is Nick Timms. Nick Timms. Nick Timstagram. Timstagram. Nick Timstagram. Congratulations. You got yourself a signed, numbered, limited edition People of Encinitas poster. Featuring, featuring Chris. Todd's going to get on part Not three. Not me. Todd's going to be on part three. We're going to start a, uh, like a, what do you call those? Petition. Three, three pull of Encinitas? John and hey, and Tusky. Todd's really hurt. He really wants to be on that post. Yeah, well, can you just make like a, we just can you add just it draw on. him on? A couple of them? Just I don't want it. I don't want to be on there. He does want to be on there. I don't want to be on there. Okay, good. What else? Just want to send a shout out to our friend Jason McGinnis at ah, J McGinnis Knives. Big J. Uh, he was offering up. Oh, we should, you know, some or somebody is saying, maybe you should get a celebrity guest on in in the knife shop. And he said, and then somebody said, what about Chris Cote and Todd Richards? And then he said yes. And I said, well, you could get some real celebrities or us, and we would love to go to the knife shop. J dot M C I N N E S K I N I V E S. Jamie McGinnis Knives. Did you get that? <laughs> I misspelled it right here. <laughs> Find him on Instagram. Great. Best dude. Just, just love that guy. All right. All right. Let's get it. Okay. Attention. Action sports fans. It's time. Surf News <laughs> is brought to you by Hanson Surfboards. You can get all your surfboarding needs at Hanson's. Yeah. Mass 10. Big code. You're on the team. Buy your stuff online. Pick it up. Either way. Okay, it's an emotional-filled uh, weekend for so many reasons. Two reasons were Tatiana Weston Webb and Felipe Toledo swept the podium at the Boost Mobile Margaret River Pro presented by Corona in clean, rippable, four to six foot main break. I, I just, read that off the WSL website. Just watched the. I didn't watch the Felipe Toledo Jordy final, final until about uh, an hour ago. Okay, and what did you think? I thought that Felipe Toledo is. He's so whippy. I feel like Jordy needs like giant, giant walls for him to like to show his to wares. Show. Because Jordy's turns, when he does a freaking turn, he moves yeah. half the ocean. He's like Noah. Wait, who was the one? Moses. Moses. <laughs> who's, who's, who? I thought you were saying he's like Noah Dean. He's like Moses, the actual Moses, right? Who came down they off the mountain? Do, they ever do? Anyone ever? Never mind. Do a meme? No. Moses no. meme. Noah's Ark, like Noah Dean, like turning. You ever? Do you ever caption anything with like that? In terms I have of the not. I've not. I mean, I've not written a surf caption in quite some time. All right. Anyway, but I did get some new videos of myself, and I definitely. I know. I my own saw captions. you wearing them out. Uh, so the big contest just wrapped up. Uh, the finals were in good waves. Uh, I like. I mean, there was pulsing surf throughout this entire event. Makes it. It makes it really enjoyable, really fun to watch, and it's cool because we got the meat and potatoes, the kind of blue collar. Everyday Joe type of situation for those first two events. Then we went to Margaret River where it was out of the league of many surfers in terms of how big it was and gnarly it was. Uh, takeaways, Felipe Toledo is probably unbelievably the most improved surfer in the past couple years. I think last year he was kind of a shadow figure. Well, he got it to load out. He got it to load out. But now Felipe's go oh okay that's I'm just gonna Felipe forget myself. about Felipe he'll he'll do like seventeen reverses on one wave. Well now we're looking at potentially the top so everyone's talking about the road to the finals it's a long ways away from now there's what eight more events but the, I'll tell you the current top five in just a moment uh, let's talk about the ladies this was this was a uh, I, I had no idea that this was happening because like you I waited a little bit to watch Bronte McCauley. Made it to the semifinals, and I mean, a couple days before this, her brother passed away. Um, tragedy. McCall, uh, Bronte McCauley, who's from right there in Western Australia, had every reason not to go compete. Mm -hmm. Tra family tragedy. She is a badass. Um, she is. If you ever met her, you, you you would know. She's just like a real amazing person. Um, she had her best result ever. She uh, she made the semifinals, and it was huge emotional for her and also for the eventual winner, Tatiana Weston Webb, who said, I'm dedicating this win to Bronte's family, mm -hmm. her dad, of course, a legendary surfer. 
So bittersweet, a lot of kind of like shock and sadness oh, around it's, the, it's the, right. the end of this event, but also the joy um, because now we have uh, new winners. It's nice to see someone besides Gabriel, Italo, and sadly, John John uh, out of that podium, you know, the top two spot because I love seeing the mix up and the shake up. So you mm-hmm. had Jordi, Felipe in the finals. Um, Matthew McGillivray made the semis. Huge result for that ripping surfer from South Africa. What, so what? what's the word on John John? So interestingly enough, I don't know why people say that before sentences. It's just kind of makes, it's almost makes like you sound smart. I think it's like you're almost like, this is probably going to be boring. Yeah. Well, this is one of those stories when I say, interestingly enough, I was watching the event and I saw John John do that turn on the final thing. He got up and he did, he was doing something, like waiting a little. I go, John's hurt. I really? knew he was hurt right when it happened. Wow. So John John Florence did anyone else pulls did, out of the event. Did anyone pick up on that on the broadcast? No, I was the only one in the world. See? He knew for that couple of minutes. See then, WSL? See what happens? Come out. See what happens when you throw the baby out with the bathwater? I'm even, coming back. I don't I, know I didn't go to I'm what that back means. The what does that expression team? mean? Like water off a duck's butt. Throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yeah. That I means don't, like waste not, what not. I don't even know. I, waste your baby. It's, and, and you know what? Don't. It's a clean baby. Don't if you're going to throw the baby out, do it it's dirty. That's like you clean the baby, now enjoy the baby, right? I'm more confused now than ever. Jordy Smith had some incredible claims yeah. put on the wave, after the wave, and you and I were really enjoying those, but also uh, the internet is saying he is Jordy solid, has some awkward claims. He is, you say awkward? Awkward, that's they, what they said. I love claims? them. I think they're very much like emotes. He's like a. He, it's literally like in the movie Gladiator when yeah. Russell Crowe goes, oh. "Are you not entertained?" Yes, really. I'm entertained, Jordy. Keep it up. Yeah, I like, I like awkward claims. Um, so, what else we got? Oh, Toledo dedicated his win to his son Koa, and it's Koa. It was Koa's birthday, and Koa said, "Daddy, will you win me that trophy?" Toledo did it. Wow. So that was pretty cool. Um, last thing on that event. Mm. So after John John pulled out due to injury, and I don't know, you tell me if you think this is just a very subtle diss. He said, I got to concentrate on getting well to compete in the Olympics. Didn't um, say anything about making the top five, winning the world title. I think that means that, in the Olympics. that John John's got some fucking fat Olympic bum. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. I'm going to try not to swear as much anymore. Or did you get? I just F-bombed it. Yeah. Anyways, he's got some fat incentives. But apparently, you guys really liked it last year, last episode. I'm trying to piss Todd off to get some. Okay, the the way I I think that he's got a bunch of bonuses, and if he medals at the Olympics, he does have a chance to win the gold medal. Yeah, and if he wins the gold medal, homeboy is goes down in history and is also going to get some gigo bonuses. Some ducats. Mm -hmm. People still say ducats. Do they? I don't know. Um, it's a bummer because I want John John to win the world title. I do too. I love watching him surf. I hate when he's injured because it's just if the tour is at a hundred percent right now, it's at about eighty percent because we don't have Kelly or John John, and those two guys make up twenty percent of the tour. That's just the numbers, all right. I'm no expert at math, but they make up twenty percent of the tour in terms of my interest. Sixty mm-hmm. percent of the time, it works a hundred percent of the time. If you're going by the percentages, you figure. 60% plus 20%. I mean, that's my 100% all day. John, John, Kelly, 20%. I mean, you take out 6% of that, what do you have? Some. You want another top five? Yep. <laughs> Here's your current top five. For women, current top five. Number one. Should I go? I'm going to go five. Five, Tyler Wright. Four, Caroline. Caroline. She's coming. She needs to get more wins this year. Three, Steph. Two, Tatiana Weston Webb, T W Dubs. Mm-hmm. Huge jump for Tatiana. Number one, the Golden Girl, the nearly unstoppable Carissa Moore. Um, with the rest of the events on tour, Chris is gonna do pretty yeah. pretty well. Um, number five on the men's top five leaderboard, Jordy Smith has crept into number five. JJF drops to number four. Felipe jumps up to number three, Italo two, Gabriel one, 
Three out of five of the top five are Brazilian surfers who have earned those spots. Well deserved. One of these three guys is probably going to be the world champion. Mm -hmm. Which one of them? Which one's going to be the world champion? Yeah. It depends on, well... Just give me a name. I don't need a reason, I just need a name. Felipe Toledo will be world champion. Okay. Agreed. Up next on the championship tour, Rottnest Island with those little herpy bears we've been talking about. Mm, yeah. Pros. It's I don't want it's it. haunted. I don't it's want a haunted it. herpy bear island. With amazing waves. But what if like a a surfer drops a press release to all my fans, to my friends and family, I'm very sorry. Cuddled up with a herpy bear, cannot compete tomorrow. Surfers, stay away from the bears. Look at them. Take pictures. Leave only footprints. Don't touch them. That's from the top. Todd, you want to talk about some real competition here? Yeah. Some real deal competition. Yep. Some real world yep. style competition. Some reality. The ultimate surfer is coming. The ultimate surfer has gathered some of the world's greatest up and coming surfers in the world. Why is my son texting me from okay, school? Okay, let's find out. Hopefully, it's nothing. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. He just wants to be dropped off. At the skate park? And, uh, yeah, at the skate park. That's cool. Just tell him, make him feel bad. Okay. Interrupted the podcast for that. That's fine. I don't. He, he doesn't. He, is he texting in class? Yeah. Right. All right. So uh, sorry, ultimate, everybody. That was ultimate some surfer. Business. Ultimate surfer. I heard it was spoiled already. Yeah, but we're not going to spoil it. Why? Because I don't I don't I don't think it's right. It what if somebody spoiled Mandalorian for you? This is not Mandalorian. Well, it is to some Caliper. people. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Who? So, a lot of surf fans are very excited about this. I don't think we should spoil I it. I spoil it so bad. Don't spoil it. Because again, put yourself in the position of somebody who actually is excited about watching this. Mm -hmm. If you if if I if you said, "Oh, the new season of The Boys just came out." And I said, "Oh, yeah, so and so dies." You would be pissed. I'd be pissed. Okay, so don't spoil it for those. But fans. this is reality TV. Don't. I'm spoil not going to spoil it because no spoilers. Well, this is interesting because we have what started as a way to show and provide up and coming surfers with the ultimate shot at getting two CT wild cards. Wait a minute. It's so it's to get two CT wild cards. You get two. We've CT gone wild through this. Cards. I think we've we've discussed this before. Yeah, you get. We're going to do it again. Prize money. You get prize money. You get two CT wild cards. Yeah. You get tons of coverage on ABC. Who watches TV? I'm going to watch this. Okay. I'm, ha I'm happy But are this. you going to watch it on the internet? Uh, I, I, I think I only have the internet. Right. I mean, a that's, streaming device. That's what I'm the saying. TV. That's what I'm saying. So we've got some rippers in this. And some names that I don't know much about. Okay, Drop. Drop Kai names. Barger, mm -hmm. 31, Haiku Hawaii. We know Kai, yep. ripping, powerful, goofy footer, junior world champion, uh, pretty much CT caliber. Um, Austin Klaus, now this is one that I did not know much about. Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Um, if you look at the cast, you have like skill and looks, right? Mm -hmm. Skill level and looks, Kai, which, Again, this is TV. It's reality TV. So these are the considerations. Uh, he's very handsome. Okay. And I've watched him surf. He could surprise some people. It looks like he surfs pretty good. I don't know much about him. Did he do reverses? I don't know. Mason Barnes, 27, from Venice. Extremely handsome. Model. Does rip. I've seen footage of him surfing huge waves. This kid charges. Ezekiel Lau, 27, Honolulu. We know all about Ezekiel Lau. Pretty much... A CT surfer, right? But he's gone off and down, so he's gonna get. Hope we'll see what he does here. Luke Davis, twenty-eight, an incredible dancer, an amazing surfer, so good in the barrel, and dare I say, even better looking than Todd Richards. Do you agree? Not even hard. Not even okay. Equally as good looking. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> Alejandro Moreta from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Alejandro Moreta. Uh, absolute ripper. He used to cover the hell out of this guy in Transworld. Stoked to see him coming back to do this. Koa Smith, 26, Sunset Beach, Hawaii. We all know all about Koa. What do you think? He's a superstar. Look, what do you think? You're just looking at this whole group right now. I'm looking at the whole group, and I think the most like, uh, but I'm just currently saying, like, talented surfer has to be Ezekiel Lau. Talent aside. 
Are Down they the side. did they pick this whole thing just for like hotness? Some of them, but all these, you know, they all surf good. Right. So I think they did a good job with the with the cast. Okay. Uh, the women's side, Brianna Cope, twenty six, Koloa, Hawaii. She reps so good. Kayla Durden, twenty eight, Jacksonville. I've never heard of or I've seen Kayla. I, I'm taking that back. I've seen her surfing some uh, QS events. Mm -hmm. Great surfer. She looks like she's going to be a, an awesome addition to the show. Don't know much about her. Bruna Zahn, hmm. formerly Bruna Schmitz. Yeah, Dane Zahn's, Dane Zahn's wife. Dane Zahn's wife. But more, wow. more, more, uh, more importantly, no, before that, CT Surfer, QS Standout, uh, Roxy, yeah. Roxy Team Rider. For, for life, basically. Model Surfer for Roxy. Incredible, incredible talent. Julie Hernandez from Costa Mesa. Another name that I was not familiar with. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Julie can do. Uh, Malia Ward. Daughter of Chris Ward, of course, from San Clemente, California. Malia, an amazing surfer, a surfer model. Uh, Anastasia, and when I say surfer model, I'm not saying that to belittle. I'm saying that to celebrate because surfer slash model, surfer slash model. Yeah, and a ripper in both arenas. Anastasia Ashley from Miami Beach. Wait, Miami Beach? Where is she from? in San Clemente. Used to. They, yeah. Anastasia Ashley, I know I've known Anastasia for years. Love her. She's super funny, a really good surfer, and I think she's going to add some fun flavor to this thing. Tia Blanco, such an incredible surfer, underrated. And this doesn't come out till fall. Yeah, I thought September it was going to come out this summer or August. No, August. I think August. Yeah, it's coming out in August. So we'll be talking about it every week until then. No, we won't. Um, the the presenters, as you would say in Europe. The hosts, as you would say in America, our guy Joe Terpel, uh, Jesse Palmer, and Aaron Casarelli. And I don't know who they are. Hmm. I know well, Joe. We know Joe. Joe rules. I wonder if the other two are just like basically. The, I thought um, they were, they were like talking. Real, heads. I thought they were like real estate brokers when I saw them. Really? Like, no offense to real estate brokers. Maybe it's like the you have to bring in like your like just rando hosts. They appear to be rando hosts. But they're, they're probably very nice people. Don't know anything about them. Can't say anything bad about them. I don't know. But I am looking forward to seeing the show. And don't spoil it for us. Anyway. I'm not going to spoil it. Another big... This is a big surf episode. You know? Surf heavy? Because I have a lot of surf. We surf heavy? Yes. Stab just dropped its rich list. Ooh. What do you think of the Stab rich list? This is where they show you no. how much the top pros are making. Yes. Yes. We like to know the yep. dirt. Number 10, Kai Lenny. Annual base salary, $750,000. Fuck yeah, bro. You said you weren't going to cuss. But that was a big number. Just, just Annual. Wait, dude, that's number 10. Annual. I think Kai makes more than that because I know he gets paid for appearances. I think that he needs to get more than that because if he's going to put up footage of him on that skate swing. I have. Okay. So since we're on the topic of Kai Lenny, I got a text about the skate swing. From Kai Lenny? No. Oh. From... This is from Derek Sproul. Is, he, Sproul. is he, he the inventor? He used to work for the company that's one of the companies that sponsors Kai. Uh, okay. Knowing Kai Lenny, working for one of his former sponsors, Kai has never been one to take a traditional approach or seem to care what's cool. He doesn't care what you say, Todd. Okay. Started his career as a windsurfer, then a stand-up paddler. He's been on his own path since day one. Todd's comment on how skating pain is your teacher how depressed would Kai be if he missed out on an XXL session at Jaws or Nazare because he broke his arm skating? Don't skate. If Sounds you don't want to, to get me it. like someone's a nut swinger. Um, That's a nut swinger. Comment. Brett Lickle was one of the original creator of Kai's harness, so they're not making them for public. Um, the bottom line is, I was right. The bottom line is Derek is a huge fan of the show. Mm -hmm. He loves the banter. And he wants to do. He wants us to do another guest host slot on Adventure IO because uh, he wants to come hang with us. Okay. So at any rate, we love uh, Kai Lenny. We think he's awesome. Yeah, we're more impressed about his salary. Griffin Colapinto, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, Griff. What do you do with seven hundred and fifty grand a year at twenty-two years old? What's the first thing you do? I mean, buy a big dumb truck around here. Raptor. What do you think? Rent a one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. This is a little surprising. Oh. Italo Ferreira. Wow. Oh. 
nine hundred thousand dollars a year base salary base salary that's not not including incentives. bonuses no i guarantee you got a no couple bonuses. what do you get for a world title you think bonus wise depends on how you negotiate it i would i would expect it to be Average. six figures easy yeah agree I agree with what you say. Jordy Smith, $940,000. Where are they getting these numbers? Uh, like, just pulling like, them out of the air? I mean, they're pretty... Stab seems to be pretty on it. Okay. I, don't know if I believe right. it. Okay, let's keep going. Another surprise, number six. Going from the top spot to the sixth spot, John John Florence. $1,050,000. Okay. And... Doesn't surprise Florence me. Machine X just announced that they have gear for sale. Marine. That's you what I said. You said machine. Because it sounds like that Florence band. Florence the machine. Yeah, but yeah. don't. Florence Marine X is what I said, Todd. Yep. I, you heard it wrong. Um, sponsors include Florence Marine X. He owns that company. So that's going to make him some money beyond his or base salary. suck money out of his pocket. Money suck. He gets paid by Yeti. Cliff Bar. Whoop. What's whoop? Yeah. Nixon, <laughs> Electric, Therabody, <laughs> and Pizel Surfboards. There you go. Number four. Raking it in. With sponsors including Quicksilver, Red Bull, Ocean and Earth, G-Shock, Shiseido, Oakley, Beats by Dre, Visa, Delta Airlines, Sony, Kinoshita Group, and Sharp Eye Surfboards, Kanoe Garashi, $1.7 million a year base south. And you know that that's like, it was very... He made a very uh, calculated move to represent Japan at the Olympics. Yeah. And on the World Cup stage. He's the top, he's the top guy that they're looking at. And also, there's, there's probably more money. And, and, and he earned that because he's been... And he rips. rips. He, he's been ripped. He's been ripped. Ripping. Number three. Felipe Toledo. $1.75 million. There you go. Number two. In retirement. Mick Fanny, $1.8 million. That is sick. He's still getting paid to surf, even though... Crush, no, that's not getting paid. That's, he's not even making that's heats. That's straight crushing. He doesn't have to. He's Mick Fanny. He can do whatever he wants. Just pay him. Pay the man. He's earned it. Number one. I knew this was coming. Gabriel Medina. Two, the Machina. Two Gabriel point Medina. $2.2 million a year. $2.2 million. Not including incentives. Rip Curl. Guarana, that purple soda, I like it. Ortho Price, that a mattress? Have you seen his board, right? The thing has got just, there's stickers everywhere. Stickers galore. NASCAR stuff. Not, I mean, I'm not mad at he's him. He's running out of space. But look. That's why his stance is so wide, so he can fit the sponsors between <laughs> um, Corona, TCL, Audi. Yeah. Gabriel's getting free Audis. How's yeah. that sit with you? Stings. It stings, a little ring sting for Todd. Oi. Yao Surf and Ralph Lauren. Wow, Ralph Lauren? Yeah. How do you how do you ride for Rip Curl and Ralph Lauren? At the same you time? just carefully, just carefully put your outfits together. That's, Maybe no, it's weird. it's the uh, fragrance. Oh, stink by Ralph Lauren. Yeah. It smells horse, like it smells like scent. polo fields. Horse scent <laughs> by Ralph Lauren. I think that'd be actually pretty great. So those are your uh, stab rich list. Thank you, stab, for putting that list together. Always entertaining. People love to know about how I love much money know. people make. You want to know how much money I make per year? About $25,000. Yeah, that's sick. One quarter of uh, the number 50 surfer on the QS. Now, I don't make a lot of money, to be honest. Well, <laughs> I really look, don't. Look at us here at this podcast. Yeah. We're not doing good. <laughs> We're having fun, though. <laughs> if you could pay us, and if, we get, if, if fun is a... A currency, killing it. We Cryptocurrency, be, actual currency. Would be Dogecoin. Savings. Um, Is it Doge or Doggy? Coin? All of that. Not. Do you know how to so say it? Doge. Is it Doge? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right. So, and I've been reading a lot about Dion Agius's new line with Glow. I got some right here. It's called. Those are the pants. Oh, the sweatshirt. Dark Hollow. So this is a oh, glow. darkness. This is a glow. Dark Hoodie. arts, dark hollow. And so it's kind of cool because they are touting this new line as totally sustainable. And in looking at it, uh, it's it's really cool. It kind of tells you the whole story about it, um, about these clothes. And a lot of times a company says, yes, we are sustainable. They send you some clothes or you buy some clothes that comes wrapped in plastic. 
Globe, what they what, what impressed me, all their gear feels very. Uh, I got a shirt. I got to get the shirt on too. It's just a blank shirt, but it's super soft. It feels really nice. That's one. Yeah, you know, classic. Um, all their stuff came in a box. Thank you so much, Globe. I just put rad or something on Instagram, and they said, "Do you want some stuff?" And I said, "Hell yeah!" Cool. And I got I got you some stuff for your kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so I am sharing, but. What I liked about it was it's it's truly uh, sustainable all the way around. All the clothes came wrapped in like a paper kind of thing. I thought that was really cool because that's a detail I know, I that a lot really of people miss. I never thought about that. It's like, you know, sustainable clothes that come into like a plastic bag. Yeah, we make sustainable clothes and they show up at your house and it's bubble wrapped in plastic. And half of the shit you take out and you're like, okay, well, that kind of canceled itself out. So I think it's cool that Glow paid attention to the details. Neat. Um, so check out the new globe stuff. I'm liking it. Simple, comfortable, and effective. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's what I have for surf news. That's pretty good surf news. That was one of the better surf newses. It was a salt. Well, we weren't as pissed off as we were last week. Um, maybe something will upset you. Okay. Snow Great. Maneuvers. Can't wait. But yeah. Uh, skate news is brought to you by Adventure IO. Don't forget to get the app Adventure IO. I have, an, I have an adventure up there. Take a bike ride. I'm going to open some dates up very soon. Um, and Todd's going to come. <laughs> He's doing it for free. He's volunteering. <laughs> no, Todd's going to do some adventures too. Go in a hot tub with Todd. Weird. $500. I just put, I just um, assembled, did I tell you this last week? I think I assembled a sauna at my house. Yeah. Go in Todd's sauna. Yeah, that's an it's adventure. It's a single person sauna, but we can, I mean, we can squeeze. I mean... That's a low budget adventure that anyone can afford. Do you ever do fart sauna in the car? Um, like when you're traveling, you roll you roll the windows up and you lock them, mm -hmm. and then you turn the heat on and then you fart. Yeah, yeah, I do that a lot. It's called fart sauna. With or without people in the car. Really? Yeah. Um, speaking of skate news, I got I gave you a present. Where is it? Oh, so. The homies at Generator Distribution are now distributing these awesome boards from Darkroom Skateboards. Don Pendleton Art. Thanks, Justin. So rad. And you know them. Yeah. And he's probably going to want to send you some, and I already, I already sponsored you. No, he said, so that, thank me. he said that he dropped this off at your house for me. Oh, yeah, because there's 26 skateboards in there. 8x5. 8x5, Todd size. So thanks, Darkroom. I... I'm in the. I'm a biggest fan of Don Pendleton's artwork. It's really rad. It's so good, and I love that he has his his this whole. I mean, the, any of these boards you can just put on your wall it would look amazing. Um, I got a shaped deck. From Is Dark it Room weird? Like the, I know it's like kind of like a trendy thing to put boards on your wall. But do you ever like look at the boards you put on your wall? Yeah. And kind of like, I don't know, like if you were 16 years old, and you went over someone's house. And they had boards on their wall. You'd be like pissed. Write it. Yeah. I don't know. It's. I think we've we've got we've transitioned into this weird thing where it's art. It is art, and a lot of these skateboards are on online for hundreds or thousands of dollars, because skateboarding has never been like a nostalgia thing as much as it is right now. Yeah. Because we're all at an age, mid thirties, where. <laughs> <laughs> where we uh, have these childhood memories attached to right. skateboard graphics. We're just climb the asphalt. And so... Being dragged. You want to have that feeling, you know, you want, you're like, oh, you put your, you know, McGill Mini from 1986 on the wall, and every time you look at it, you're like, ah, oh, man, that was so well, pure. Like I have my a, love for skateboarding back then. I've got a couple boards. I have, like, Chris, uh, Chris Miller gave me one of his reissues of his like one of his boards and yeah. then I got one of those not those black bag Nautis boards a little while ago. Nice. And it's like put it on the wall right here. I some I have to put some stuff at home. Oh, you're right. But anyways, I just look at them and sometimes I'll just be like I feel like I feel like, like I should frog. be like I feel weird like I feel like I should be sk like skating them. And then but but if you if you keep a board if you hang on to it for like 3 or 4 or 5 months, doesn't it lose the pop for you? Does yeah. that, is that a thing? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm a just, fan of putting boards on the wall. It's one of those weird things. Like Sometimes I feel weird about it. 
I'm sure you feel because weird about like, a lot of things on a daily basis. You can't, it's really hard to get skateboards now in general. You go to, your local, generator you go to your, distribution. Local, go to your local skate shop. Generator your, Distribution gener- it seems to have sure. plenty of skateboards. Okay. Follow them on Instagram, at Generator Distribution. There you go. Let me, Never let mind. me just you double just check that. You just dismantled my... What? Just, I just want to make sure I'm giving the right Instagram because they were so kind to hook us up with boards. Generator Skateboard Distribution on Instagram. There They've got go. some good stuff. Okay. Um, we had a uh, an icon. Without this guy, who knows what the state of action sports, especially skateboarding, would be. R.I.P. to the legend, the GOAT, Paul Van Doren, founder yeah. of Vans Shoes. We're both wearing Vans. Yep. Yeah. I mean, without Paul Van Doren, no waffle sole. Okay? No side strike. So next time you put on a pair of Vans shoes, look up and say, thanks, Paul. You rule. This is a guy who basically made the best skate shoes. Talk about the, a family that's given to skateboarding more than oh, yeah. any other. I mean, yeah. the Van Doren family is fun. You can't knock Vans from top to bottom. Nope. Yeah. Okay. So. More business. It all comes down to this. Olympic hopefuls will be competing in the 2021 USA Skateboarding National Championships. They already competed, but now it's going to be on the television, on the barracks, today, 5 the, p.m. This is from yesterday. This is from yesterday, but they took the show and they chopped it into an awesome, I think. I'll tell you what. I saw a bunch of the practice footage oh my God. over there at the training facility in Carlsbad. It is nuts. Yeah. Skateboarders Liam are Pace, really good. Holy crap. That kid. Pedro Barros. Pedro Barros. What about the new kid, Rafael? Rafi? Rafi? Yeah, Rafi. You know, you know who that is. Is it? It's Lincoln you wait his son. Yeah. yeah. No, I saw, I saw Lincoln. I go, dude. It's your crazy. son is so gnarly. Yeah, he's really, really good. Yeah. Um, so, but at any rate, it's going to be really interesting to see how this shakes out. I can't wait. We've got, you know, there's just like Jordan. This is happening. Then we got Dew Tour next week. That's right. And there's a, there's people there skating already. Um, Mr. Sleepy Turtle himself Did you, do just you ever, posted some footage from there. I do guess you ever the have skate, panic? The, the reason I'm asking is because I didn't want to, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Travel panic? No, like when you, I, this happens to me all the time. When you have an event coming up or a couple of different events on your calendar. Yeah. And then you wake up one morning, you open Instagram, and you see people either skating at that park oh, or you're surfing like, that wave. You're like, oh my God. Did I get the dates wrong? And you got to look at your calendar, look at your tickets, and go, okay, I'm good. That I happened get, to me for due tour. I get travel anxiety when I look at my, like, um, because we, because I don't, haven't been traveling as much. Yeah. So, like, we're, we leave, what, next Wednesday to go yeah. due tour? I'll start having travel anxiety, like, Friday. I <laughs> went on a trip to Woodward, and I didn't tell you this the last time. We went to Utah with the family. Last week, I got to San Diego Airport three uh, two hours and forty five minutes early <laughs> for the flight. Was there anyone there? My fiance was not impressed. Was the airport? Crowded? It was empty. Really mellow. We had our we our che- you know printed out boarding pass. Everything was you were super literally got from the car to the lounge, at, not the lounge but you know the gate. Yeah. In like fifteen minutes. And everyone's looking at me like, what time do we leave? And I'm all, uh, like, come, like an hour or something. Two and a half hours. Are you on the same flight as I am to Des Moines? Probably. I hope so. I hope so. We could carpool. That's what I'm talking about. There's a new skateboarding game coming out. I knew nothing about it. It's, other out, than, it's out already. It's called Skate City. Skate City. Did you play it? I haven't played it yet. I looked at it. It ain't no Skate 3, 2. It ain't, um, it ain't no Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Right, but it could be fun. Yeah, I'm st- I'm I'm still Fortniteing. See, the I'll thing admit is, it. I'm Fortniteing. If I'm gaming, I need monsters. Yeah, I need guns. Oh, I need hella guns. I need running. I need to run. Gunning. I need to crouch behind trees and take people out. Funning. That does. It, that's that's running, gunning, and funning. Skateboarding. I like to do that in real life and get frustrated about that in real life. I don't like to shoot guns in real life. And I don't like to, you know, ambush people and do shady stuff in order to kill them. Pain is I like your... to do that in the video game. Right. No guilt. Pain is your teacher. You don't go to jail. Could. Not gaming. Speak, um, speaking of pain is your teacher. Dude. This is... I had no idea this was See, this went here, down. this is... I knew about this. I was given this information in private. And you kept it secret. Yes, because it they was, it was a pretty freaking big deal. So Lizzie Armanto, back in... 
think what was it, like a month December or two ago or something like that. Oh, she, this is three months ago. I think this is a while ago. She um, she didn't make the gap at Elliot Sloan's house and slammed into the back of the ramp and fell thirty feet to the flat. Like she didn't. She anti popped instead of. Yeah. Popping over the gap. Okay, so you know, first of all, that this is a horrifying slam if, A, it's a secret. Yeah. B, there's no footage of it. They've scrubbed that footage. I'm, I haven't seen it. C, um, for one of the world's most famous skateboarders to be injured and in the hospital for a month mm-hmm. with nobody knowing about it, that tells me it's a gnarly slam. She's coming back, and she actually discussed it at length with Tony Hawk and Ellis. Jason Ellis on the Hawk vs. Ellis podcast, which is one of the world's greatest when, skateboarding when podcasts. When is that? Do you know when that is going to be on? Because I really want to listen to that. Like, um, it should, Maybe it's on now, or it's on the next one. Well, I haven't heard it yet. You know, I wonder if... Because she's she's representing Finland for the Olympics. The, the Olympics. She'll so, be back. I think she'll I'm be just, back. What I'm saying is, do you think like the whole keep it undercover was to like this the strategy was to not panic you know uh, she, i mean you it's got gotta be some you of gotta it. imagine that there's some of that stuff in there because but, most of the time people are like you know here's my instagram from the hospital or slam over yeah it. see i think it, it was i think that it was so serious maybe they they didn't know if she was ever going to be able to skate again like that bad hmm. and so they were taking their time but either way she's already on the comeback path lizzie's tough she's She's taken some pretty yeah. horrendous slams, like her slam in the loop. <coughs> Remember that? First one to do the loop, then she just totally ate it. In that the was loop. just your average everyday sneeze, by the way. No, no COVID? No. Okay. Yeah, Lizzie's a tough, tough lady. So she'll be back. This is a crazy story out of Australia. All right. I hate to end skate news on a sad note. Trent Riley, ripping local Australian skateboarder. Um, went fishing in a little boat off the port of Brisbane. So the waters off Australia are pretty notorious for being rough. Mm -hmm. He went fishing alone in his boat, never came back. Two weeks later, he's still missing. The search is called off. Tributes are flooding social media. And just now, uh, Trent's unseen video part from uh, a video called Treasury has been put on Thrasher magazine. So this is just a bizarre, super sad set of occurrences. Guy's a lifelong skater, goes missing, friends and family have no idea, so mm-hmm. he's gone, he's out in the ocean. I mean, God, I mean, you could hope for a miracle. That's a, yeah. It happens, yeah. but it's just really gnarly. Thoughts and, you know, just positive thoughts to the family. And check out the guy's video part, you know, Trent Riley. He was on the cover of Slam in Australia. That's so crazy. Yeah, it's wild. It's yeah. always like it's always like the, you know, when it's someone by themselves. Yeah. Like on a boat. Yeah. I don't know. There's been a couple of those within our industry, that right. have been like really yeah. sad. Like guy goes fishing on a boat by himself. All I, of a sudden. I don't trust the ocean. I'll be honest with you. I do not trust the sea. You will not find me crossing the Atlantic on a freaking Queen Mary or anything like that. You will not find me on a cruise ship. You will bet. You will. If you find me on a sailboat where I can't see the land, something's wrong. Because I, I do not like to go out in the ocean. I was so screwed up by um, this movie back like in the 80s. I think it was called Poseidon Adventure. Oh, where the boat, where the boat flips, flips yeah. over. Like, I was freaking I'm never going on a that. tour. Yeah. Uh, if somebody Cruise offered, ships are straight off the, the menu. If somebody offered you hmm. a super fancy cruise, cruise no. from here to Norway. Norway, yeah. So I gotta go to the Panama Canal and stuff. Oh yeah. Ew. Um, no. <coughs> All expenses paid. I don't like. See, I just don't. All you can eat. Bullshit. And then you've got like norovirus on the boat, and you're. I'm trapped. not. I'm not doing it. I've. And you ever see those videos online of like YouTube where like the boats in rough seas, and yeah. it just shows like the tables and the and the like. Basically, the tables the, have turned. The elderly sliding around. I watched the Poseidon Adventure episode of Family Guy. That was enough for me. No, t- no cruises. I'm not cruising. No. I cruise on a bike, on a low rider. I'd love to do that. I'm not going on a cruise. And that was skate news. Schoolyards. Yeah. Snow news is brought to you by K2 Snowboarding. 
K2 snowboarding. One of the best to ever do it. So guess where everyone, snowboard guess board. Where, where is everybody? Guess where everyone is. Where is everybody? Everyone is up at the Red Bull Recharge. That I this event that. is the brainchild of um, uh, Ben Ferguson. And B Ferg. B Ferg wanted to put on a you know kind of like a fun <laughs> event uh, along the same lines as like Danny Davis's Peace Park. Yeah. And it's going on. It. It's like a week long thing. Where you basically go up there and you steeze it out, and they've got a really unique setup. And just film a video part and submit it, type yeah, of thing. Kind of thing like that. And it's I love just those basically events. they're looking for the standouts. And my gosh, are there some standouts? Uh, Judd Henkes from right, yeah, right down the 101 here in La Jolla um, has been putting on a show. Yes. Zeb Powell did the craziest. What? What was can that? only be described as you go up, go up like a 60 or 70 foot kicker. Uh, like a tabletop, catch an edge, and just <laughs> throw your ed- just throw your body ninety in the takeoff, and basically do. I think it's kind of like a back. Originally, the backside rodeo flip. Some people used to do them like that. You would basically ride up the jump and just turn ninety, like stop and jump. Yeah, like almost just hook your edge, and it would flip you over. It was it was called the backside rodeo. Was originally you know another name for it was called the dump truck, the stop and chat. Stop and chat. Stop and chuck. Stop and, anyways, bad. I mean, it. It, so, that, yeah. it looks like you screwed up. That was one of those tricks that I had to watch fifteen times in order to really grasp what it was. I still don't know exactly what it is, but I know what it was, which is very hard and really cool. And it's I've just never scary. seen anything it's like terrifying. that. It's terrifying. So the amount of wrong that can happen yeah. on, when you when you initiate something like that. Zeb Powell is one of these guys where every time I see a clip of him, I go, "Oh, that's my favorite guy." He's right. He does the coolest stuff ever. I feel like he's like straddling. You know his, his number? I don't. I would, oh, shit. I'll get it though. I'll get. I'll We're coming for you, Zeb. I feel You're like coming on the show. He's straddling the line between like stunt boarding, yeah, and you know. No, I don't know. I think one of the first things that made me really wowed was his X Games knuckle lay on his back to backflip yeah. trick. Like, that stuff to me is so cool. It's almost like the... He's r- on that list with him, Rennie, Cleveland. Yeah, it's like snowboarding became fridge. so easy that they just had to like... Well, then there was all this footage of, of Zeb riding like a 180 or something like that. And with that big, no tail? That big, no, oh, the a big, big one. pink nitro board. Yeah. He's now on Burton. Okay. And uh, but anyway, so big fans Red Bull there. Recharge is going on. There's been some some hot action up there. It seems like that is where the entire snowboarding industry. Well, actually, no. There's there's a split between there and the. Um, I believe there's an event that's going on up at the basically a modified um, Holy Bully course. Okay. It's a boarding for breast cancer um, benefit event. B4BC. Yeah. They, it's boarding tit, for breast it's cancer. Called, it's tits or something. Something like that. I gotta say, boarding for breast cancer, year in, year out. Law? They show up, dude. It's they, been going on forever. Yeah. Think of, I mean, I don't, I don't know any numbers or facts or figures, but boarding for breast cancer has to have saved hundreds of lives. Yeah, and Liter- I mean, truly, they've been, you know, partnering with the the snow and skate and surf industry since. I mean, I think when was the first one? Probably like ninety three. Easily, yeah. Yeah. I'm putting them in the script because I want to make sure they get mentioned in the notes yeah. on the, on you the remember, inter- remember, internet. Remember Board Aid? Yeah. Was that boarding for breast cancer back then? Um, I think so because I know it was a trans world thing. Yeah. But that was where, I mean, without that, you, you, the world would never have heard of Black Eyed Peas. For real? It seems like Black Eyed Peas was the uh, band du jour for these, like, Late '90s, early 2000s snow and events. It was like fluff. I always see overwhelming color fast. Wait, is that the name of band? Something like that. Right. Um, Black Eyed Peas. You know Pennywise. Uh, what uh, the um, offspring? Offspring. That was kind of like that era. Yeah. Must have been like '93, '94. Yeah. Anyways, but uh, yeah, so that's that's really cool. And I'm glad that Black Eyed Peas is out and Forty for Breast Cancer is still in. I just don't, you know, I don't love that music anymore. You don't like it? No, I celebrated it for enough time. I have a, I have, a, this is, this is goes out to you listeners. Okay. So. And the Black Eyed Peas do listen to this podcast, okay, so. Good. I've been doing um, Todd's Big Time Summer Jams, and it's this ongoing 
um, Spotify list of music. Wow, you never invited me. I will today. I will invite you. I'll invite, I wanted to, I wanted I to will invite all of you. Them. And I would like you all to participate in it and add to this. I would like a personal invite. Okay. But anyways, it's... I've, I've like gone deep down this rabbit hole that will like you know when you find one song you're like oh shit I remember this song like yeah. uh, Dias Effects Dias Effects Dias Effects excuse me yeah yeah you want effects talk about Dias Effects yeah. you want effects yeah that's like that is it's like prime time it just unlocked board, that's prime whole... time board aid music yeah yeah it's just it's and, then, un- and then sadly bum, skiggity bum, skiggity bum. yeah sadly all that good stuff was replaced by 21 Pilots who became snowboarding music? Did it? Oh, it's the worst. Or like, what's the Imagine Dragons? Ah, oh, do they stop it? Are they sail? No, that is a. Uh, I feel like that's like X Games music. Sail. Gosh, that. But you know, oh, A Wall Nation. A-Wall. And I actually met that kid. One dude. It's one guy. Like a, yeah, producer, musician. He was super nice, super cool. But doesn't it seem like X Games music? Oh yeah. Anytime. Well, it's Red Bull music. Because they put that they put that out on their label, and they use that as their intro for every sport. You would see a guy jumping off a cliff in a diving thing. Sail, uh, monster truck backflip. Sail. I just feel like there was a there was a time when like X Games would throw to a commercial. Yes. And it would be like sail. Yeah, like something. You know what I mean? Like the King Sean White maintain his lead, and they just have that like someone in slow motion. Travis Pastrana's coming back. Total. For revenge. Can he do the triple backflip? Right. Dun, 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 and then dun, it's dun. like it's like either that or Sail. or the other p- person you described. What's the other band? Twenty One Pilots. Yeah, it's like that or Twenty One Pilots. Oh, that shit is bad. It's horrible, dude. Like, I can appreciate most music, and I don't want to go nag here. Pretty nag. Twenty One Pilots sucks. It's so bad. Is Foo Fighters any- have a new album out. Did you get it yet? <laughs> This, You're such a big fan. Is this, part, is this part of the... No, I'm not saying stick? anything I'm not saying stick? anything bad about the Foo Fighters. I'm just asking you if you have the new album and are you playing it? I'm not are you celebrating that, I'm it? I'm not the one that has the problem with You're the Foo Fighters. You're the one that gets you so are, defensive when we talk about Foo Fighters. No, I'm not saying anything bad. You just don't like them. And Dave Grohl, you said I like personally, them personally you didn't like Dave Grohl and what he's up to. If he asks me to like him, I will. All right. I don't know him. Fair enough. I do know, uh, I do know Chris Shiflett. Oh yeah, super nice dude. There you go. One of the nicer guys you'll ever meet. Okay. Taylor Hawkins, I've met him. Really cool. Got a lot of friends in common. They're all great people in that band. Except Pat for, Smear. Except for Dave Grohl. No, Dave Grohl seems oh. like an awesome guy. Okay. But I'm just asking you if you have the new album, since you're such a you know. I don't. Bolsterer of the Foo Fighters. I don't. The first album's great. <laughs> Nerd News is brought to you by Panicking Coffee and Tea. Panicking Coffee and Tea. Globally renowned and respected emporium of amazing taste. Did you um, like the Saturday Night Live with Elon Musk? I I got I'm about three quarters of the way through it. I liked it. Really? I didn't. I they've been on a roll. And there was. You want my take? Yeah. His intro. So the last Saturday Night Live, we've been talking a little bit about it. Oh my gosh. Who is it? It's my son. Put him on speaker. Hey, you're on the uh, the podcast, son. Huh? You're you're live on the podcast right now. Oh, am? Yeah? yeah, you can go to the park. That's fine. I'll pick you up there later. Uh, okay. Well, who's gonna drop me off there? Kimberly. Kimberly will drop me off at Olympus Park. Yep. But doesn't he have to take Ronda OT or something? Late, later. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to go by one forty. You can go before then. Go there straight from school. Either way, just tell Kimberly to, to, to talk to me or talk to you. You can figure it out. All right, thanks, Dad. Bye. Am I still your favorite surfer and skateboarder? My favorite surfer and skateboarder? Is that still me? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Love you. Right. Love that was, you, bye. That was such a loaded question. That was some real world stuff right there. That's cool. You got no, he's on it. He's sometimes you need to make some yeah. decisions. Yeah, and I have no idea what he's he talking wants to go, about. I'm like, to, yeah, go to the park. I don't he wants know. To go skate. He wants to go to the new skate park in Lucadia. Yeah. Yes. You always say yes. When they want to go skate, yes. you say yes. I said yes. You heard me. Dude. Great parent. Here's some nerd news. Wait, I we know, were well, talking about Saturday Night Live? I know, but let's... Since we're talking I'll, I'll give you Since we're quick. transitioning yeah. to the kids. Oh, my God. It's hot in here. It's freaking hot in here. So, 
you know, I, my son's like super into BMX and they've gone around town and made BMX jumps. Yes. And stuff. So they put probably 200 hours into making this BMX zone. Yeah. Someone went and destroyed it. Why? I don't know. A homeowner. It's off in the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah, they're in the middle of nowhere. I hate and, and someone in Encinitas went and chopped the thing into a million pieces. If there's anyone in the Encinitas Carlsbad area that has some land that you would like to donate to some kids who just want to build some freaking jumps they just and not want to jump. worry about them getting taken apart, please, please contact us here at the Monday Mass. Oh my gosh. I was in Salt Lake City. We just need a field. I was in Salt Lake City. Yeah. Happened upon probably the craziest mountain bike BMX track I've ever seen. They're all over the place. I know. S tell your son to move to Salt Lake City. He might. All right, anyway, so, okay, it, so Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. Yeah, did you liked it? Okay, I liked, uh, so it was Elon Musk and uh, Hannah Montana. She did an opening <laughs> I, song, I which was kind of cool. Was Hannah Montana. Britney Spears was the singer. Yes. She, they had moms on there. It was a pretty cool little tribute thing. Elon Musk is a, uh, so he, he says, I have Asperger's. This is really challenging for me. It was, I, I thought it was honest. I thought it was cool. He's super, I mean, when someone says they have Asperger's, you can still call them weird, right? Because he calls himself know. weird. Can you say that? I, he said it himself. Okay. Yeah. Well, then he's opened the door. He's a strange man for way more reasons than mm. Asperger's. Um, I thought his delivery was quirky and funny in parts and awkward, and it's, it, it was interesting. The skits that I saw him do, there was uh, one called Millennial Hospital. Yeah, I saw that. That was so funny. Yeah. There was one. It's sus. Uh, from, uh, it was like an Icelandic show, and it felt like it was an hour long. It was horrible. <laughs> um, Hannah Montana was great. She's an amazing singer. What's her name again? Her real name. Um, uh, I forget. It's weird. I'm having a senior moment. <laughs> it's Britney Spears. We can reach back to that. Yeah. No, it's Christina Aguilaris. <laughs> Aguilaris? She was great. Um, I haven't watched Weekend Update yet, and that's my favorite part of... It was okay. Yeah. I'll watch it. I, I, I still like Saturday Night Live. I had I didn't watch it for about five years, but summer, it just now that I have Hulu and I can watch it on Sunday at 7 p.m., I'm in. Weekend Update's always... I Weekend think it's, that's like my favorite yeah. part. So... Elon Musk, thumbs up. I mean, is he an evil genius? Maybe. Uh, he's never done anything to me. Remains to be seen. Hey, where... Tesla uh, seemed cool. I don't know. Were you worried about the, the Chinese rocket ship falling on you? No. Never thought? No. I think that was uh, another, you know, media moment. What? Chinese rocket? We're on it. But you gotta imagine... You're all gonna die. It did fall, like, it fell in... I guess it fell, like, near the Maldives? Some of that know. at any in the Indian Ocean, yeah. But you gotta imagine though, like, wouldn't that be considered litter? Like, yeah, like mega litter. Just because Probably something's like coming, radioactive yeah. litter. For, just because something's coming from space doesn't mean you can't take accountability. It's like, yeah, we we screwed up. We'll go get it. So go get it. I just I wonder what something like it, you know, it's supposed to be like 180 feet long or something like that, like big, right? Yeah. If that just like fell in Encinitas. That would be pretty, that'd 15, be pretty cool. 15,000 miles an hour. If, if nobody got hurt, that would be pretty cool. It would leave a big crater. That's going to leave a mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember Skylab? Yeah. I remember. Yes, <laughs> I do, fondly. <laughs> uh, what else do we have in nerd news? I told you about uh, Sasquatch on Netflix yeah, last um, week. You know what I've been watching is... Um, uh, well, I watched The Bad Batch. I've been watching... Um, Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tell Tale, us about that. Bones. Oh uh, wait, what is it called? Bones. No, <laughs> that old show just, Bones. Never mind. <laughs> that show stupid. Stupid. Bones about oh, the doctor. Oh, 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 I know what I was gonna say. Bones Brigade. No. Um, Documentary. There is a new Venom trailer that dropped today. You ever? You, did you see the first Venom? No, I didn't. Do you know who Venom is? Yeah. From Spider Man. It's like a. It's. It's a Batman villain. No, it's Spider Man villain. But I mean, the guy who played. Bane. Yeah, Tom Hardy. Yeah, I love yes. Tom Hardy. Venom is the ultimate anti-hero. Is he bad? I don't know. Does he eat people sometimes? Is he venomous? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that looks pretty cool. I um, haven't watched Mortal Kombat yet. I'm saving that for an airplane. Just don't. There was a new uh, cartoon, actually, that came out called The Mitchells vs. The Machines. My kids watched it with a bunch of kids from the neighborhood, and they were laughing their asses off in the next room. i got to watch this. It's funny? It's funny. When it, I want to know when the new Rick Nerdy. and Morty comes out. Uh, July or June. June or July. 
I put a new Rick and Morty board up there. You did? Yeah. Do you got any other nerd news? God, I can't think of it. I'm We've been talking kind of, for like an hour. I'm trying to think of Hannah Montana's name. Um, What's her name? Selena. Selena Gomez? Why can't I think of it? I hate it when I have like brain block like this because it actually hurts. The older you get, it starts to actually hurt. Is it upsets you? Yes. You want to know? Yeah. I can tell you. Miley Cyrus. Yes. I was. I knew the whole time. I just wanted to tell you. I just wanted to mess with you. Okay, I got some questions for us. All right, let's this question is brought to you by BN3TH Apparel, Beneath Apparel. Here we go. First question is from Hana Lee. She says, What? She, they say, aside from Todd's opinion on baggy pants, what's another 80s or 90s trend you do not want to see return? And what is one you do want to see come back? Small wheels and skateboarding. Do that not want to see that. That's a bad back. one. That's not good. Um, I'd like to see some day glow. I'd like to see neon make a return. I would like to see some. I don't know why. Some, I never wear neon. Some bands that play instruments. Yeah. Okay. Well, you made my answer sound stupid of course with I that did. smart comment. I just think that that would be great. You yeah. want to know about a return? Our friend Chris Dune Pastures. Okay. Posted on his Instagram. Stoked to be on Gotcha. Chris Patras is Pastris now is on gotcha? representing Gotcha. And I said, that is so sick. I've always loved Gotcha gear. He said, go to the website. Check it out. I did. They make really cool stuff. Really? It's like elevated kind of high end. Do they make any snow gear yet? I don't know, but they make the cool shirts with the like three quarter... Turtleneck, mock turtleneck, mock neck, uh, just really cool shit. And wow. I'm uh, and I'm stoked for Pasha. I'm stoked for Gotcha. That's they cool. picked the right guy. <laughs> That's very cool. Yeah. So, what do you think the odds are they pick up Machado again? Not good because he's probably on that rich list. They probably missed him. He's who's probably he probably, he's, who's his clothing sponsor? Um, Hurley? Ver, Viore. Viore? Right up the street. Viore, really? Rob Machado surfboards. He's doing well. He's doing all right. Better than us. He has a personal chef that he brings around with him. Yeah. I. I you know who my personal chef is? Burger King. Nope. Annie's. Mac and cheese. <laughs> Three flavors. Uh, let me see if anybody else said questions. Do we really only get one question this week? That's impossible. Yeah, let me check in my... Care anymore. Let me slide into my own DMs. It. I'm going to slide into my DMs. Oh, yeah. I got a question. I got right, something. Got? Big Bear Lake mentioned. Oh, okay. Um, wow. What's an avalanche snowboard. Music? They're showing the snowboard. That's from Stargazer. I mean, that's Devin's place up in Big Bear. Oh. Well, he tagged us as Monday Mass. But, you know, that's actually, I think it's Damien Sanders' actual surfboard. Snow, snowboard. snowboard. We right. got a California right. Mud Motors. Okay, here we go. Would you rather yep. be the male model in the commercial for the newly branded Kai Lenny skate specific sex swing as payment you get <laughs> barreled every time you surf, or. You have to be the line tester for each Kyleny skate specific sex swing and sign your name on each device you test for craftsmanship defects, but you get to have the steesiest front smith at anyone else in the whole world. I would do anything for a steezy front smith, so I'm going number two. I'm just happy that people are talking about Kyleny's sex swing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jed PNW from Pacific Northwest. He wanted a hat, he wanted a navy hat. I we, messed up. I sent out a navy hat. Someone ran. I don't know, but I sent him two other options. He's going to pick the burgundy one. Okay, so, great. Jed, that's coming for you. Great. Um, one more question here. You want to read some of your emails? Would Felipe and Tati be winners if the finals were held at the box? That's from Brew Dog eighty five. What do you think of that? Great question. What do you think of that? Felipe may. Yeah, actually, you know what? Now Let's that I think of it. Tatiana is not holding back. She will. She would throw herself over that ledge. Maybe backside. backside would be gnarly. Yeah. Um, I, Felipe, yes, I'm fine with that. He's he'll charge, especially at a wave like that. Tati, I'm gonna say yes, even though it's backside of the box. But Italo went backside of the box. So I'm just, you know, like it's doable now by these top pros. So mm. I would say. I'm not like confident in saying yes, but I'm. I feel okay about it. Um, just in in a, you know, we're gonna shoehorn this into this this end of the show. Surf news. Giant shout out to Sierra Kerr, who is blowing minds once again. Towed into crushing what egos. a lot of people are saying. Maybe the best barrel ridden, uh, you know, step off barrel by a female. 
It's 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 better than ten times better than any barrel I've ever gotten. She gets and she probably com- most surfers. comes out after the spit like a good amount of time after the wave spits. She's insanely good. She's better than all of us at getting barreled. She's better than all of us at doing airs. So she's better. and I'm not mad at that. I'm great. I'm I happy mean, about that. I just I can't wait for her to start showing up and and yeah. flipping the CT on its head. She will. Oh, she will. And with that, I want to say this has been a great show with you, Todd. All right. Yeah. So I didn't even I didn't get mad. Whatever you guys are doing, just continue doing it. Just do it without uh, doing, us talking behind you. You're doing it great. You're doing a great job. We love you. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. That was yesterday. What's the next Next holiday? year. Next, next, big holiday? Ho- next big holiday is due to our next week. Do Moines. We'll be doing this show from No, we won't. We'll be doing it here. from here. <laughs> and then there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not even there. Support our sponsors. Buy yeah. a hat. Buy a shirt. We've got some left. For the love of Christ, buy something buy. from us. B-U-Y. <laughs> Get it? Run, quick, turn that off.